In this video, we're going to introduce the DGENGEOM analysis as a means of exporting information about this model into, let's say, simpler representations as you break it down into levels of degeneracy. So at the highest level, we can think of this aircraft as the outer surface of all of these components. So we've got, say, the wing, the tails, the pod that runs down the middle. All of those things have these patches that have things like surface normal and individual patch areas, etc., all associated with them. So that's one level. But this aircraft could be represented in a bit of a simpler way by smashing it down into its potato chip or its camber degen surface. Now this is what VSP Arrow is looking for when it runs vortex lattice mode. So all of the information about those surface patches are still there. They've just been smashed down and the information is tagged on these plate representations rather than a three-dimensional surface. And so the surface normals associated with this patch, you can see that they're thin. This is not a solid body anymore. So what is up and out on a two-dimensional surface? It's kind of arbitrary. But you can see that body components are collapsed down to, say, two uh, cruciform intersecting bodies, one vertical, one horizontal, as it moves along in the U direction or along the body itself. Wings and lifting surfaces like that are broken down into like, the left and right side, but effectively a flat potato chip model representation. So we do still have surface patch area, we have segment area, coordinates for all these points and nodes, that's all still there. But we could break this down even farther and say rather than having all of this extra information in here, we only really want something that's basically a beam or a stick representation. So for wings, we're talking about, say, the leading edge and trailing edge, and then all of the nodes and sections that are attached to that just move along, and you have things like area and the moments of inertia for a shell or a solid at each of those individual nodes. And for body components, it's really just the feature lines that define these cruciform shapes, so left and right, top and bottom. One layer farther, we've got, say, a point representation. And in this case, each of these components, and there are six total in this aircraft, would be represented by a point at the centroid with things like moments of inertia or the wetted area or volume of that specific chunk of the component. And all of that information is then tagged to each of those nodes for, as a point. And so DGENGEOM produces all of this information for you on the aircraft. So it takes the surface representation and smashes it down to subsequently simpler representations of the components themselves. And so that's what DGENGEOM is doing under the hood. In a subsequent video, we're going to look at the file and take a gander at what is actually in there, some of the information that's included, and even a handy way of visualizing what's going on in these file structures.